All right. Uh, welcome, everyone, back to the SciFM Summer School. Uh, today, we're going to have uh, an exciting day of uh, talking about various kinds of AI accelerators uh, hosted by the Argon team. So uh, uh, without further ado, I will transfer over to Venkat from Argon, uh, and uh, he'll uh, uh, share a summary of sort of what they have planned today for us. Well, thanks, Venkat. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's again a pleasure for us to be here and present uh, and discuss some of the very exciting work going on with novel AI accelerators and traditional GPU-based uh, systems as well. We'll cover NVIDIA too and how they can really accelerate some of the AI for science workflows and models at scale. Um, there's a team here at Argon uh, that is, you know, Murli co-leads this, uh, where we really drive to understand how impactful and are these AI accelerators. And we have some exciting work, um, both in terms of scalability for the models, and we also see uh, tremendous impact from an ener emerg energy efficiency as well uh, to use these uh, accelerators. Um, so, uh, you know, Muli will be driving this uh, and we have several attendees from Argon who will also be contributing here. Um, and I would really love to see, you know, deep collaborations that are already ongoing to be fostered over here. Um, so I would really encourage attendees at the hackathon to uh, try out the various AI accelerator systems here, um, you know, benchmark models and, we are looking forward to really forging a nice close collaboration as part of the summer school and the institute going uh, ahead as well. So, uh, Murli, please take it away. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank, thanks for the, the invite, uh, Venkat. Um, yeah, so it's my pleasure to uh, uh, introduce uh, the Argon Leadership Computing Facility, the AI testbed that we have. Um, so, uh, I'll kind of quickly give an overview uh, of the AI testbed and what our uh, efforts are um, currently, and uh, let's let's get started. Uh, I hope everyone is able to see my screen. Yeah, so uh, the Argon yes. Computing Facility. So we provide uh, world class computing resources, uh, primarily to uh, advanced science, and uh, the, all the kind of the workloads that we run, uh, maybe kind of cover a broad spectrum of use cases such as like the simulation or data or even the learning aspects. So the infrastructure that we have uh, catered to this diverse set of applications, like it can be large scale um, uh, scientific codes or, uh, or AI driven applications. And uh, there are a lot of um, interesting and emerging um, hardware accelerators that we uh, uh, make the systems available as, as part of the production facility. So we also have a dedicated team uh, who kind of uh, work in close collaboration with the users to help pour their codes onto these systems and kind of uh, help to you know uh, get the best performance out of uh, these uh, resources. So as part of that, so we've uh, started this AI testbed. Um, so primarily it's an infrastructure for the, the novel AI accelerators. So these are the machines. Uh, which are uh, purpose uh, built for accelerating the AI workloads. And the, the main goal here is to understand the uh, efficiency and efficacy of these systems for a diverse set of applications. And that includes like, like, traditional models and also some of the, the AI-driven science applications. And the, the work that we are also doing, uh, we have seen pretty interesting um, performance benefits that we gain when we port the codes onto a couple of these systems. So currently we have the, the Cerebrus CS2, the Sambonova Data Scale SN30. We have a GraphCore uh, Part 64. We have GrokRack and Habana Gaudi 1 in the AI test bit. And out of these, we have the four systems which are in production and these are available to a broader uh, community. So, um, so currently, so we have these deployments in our uh, AI test bit. See, it's a Sambano SN30. We have the latest generation SN30 data scale, which is a 
it is configured uh, with like eight nodes and 64 accelerators. So that they are called as um, RDUs. And for the Cerebrus, we have two CS2 wafer scale engines, uh, along with a bunch of the infrastructure to enable uh, running larger models. For graph core, we have the uh, bow part 64 configuration. We have like 64 um, IPU accelerators. And for the Grok system, so we have a Grok rack deployment, which is uh, nine nodes with 72 accelerators. Uh, again, we'll be talking uh, more in detail for uh, what are the hardware, uh, what's the software stack supported on each of the system uh, uh, in the sessions following this. And as part of the uh, NSF NAVE pilot program, uh, we have also made these resources available. So more folks have uh, can request allocation to these resources and uh, uh, kind of use them for their uh, use cases. And Again, uh, we also have this uh, ALCF Director's Discretionary Award Program. Um, so these four systems are available as part of this DD allocation. So anyone who wants to use these systems can submit a request. And it's, it's a simple form which asks about your, uh, what's the, the goal of the project? Is there any existing code maybe on uh, say NVIDIA-based systems? And uh, we have a pretty quick turnaround time for this allocation request. So once the request is approved, you get hours on the systems and you can use that to uh, maybe like try porting your codes or try you know evaluating these systems. And we also have a detailed uh, user guide in the ALCF page that's listed here. So what are we going to do today? So we have a pretty exciting program. It's a full day session. Uh, so we have our uh, uh, strong collaborators. Uh, we have Sylvia from Cerebrus, Vijay from Sambanova, Chart from Graphcore, Sanjeev and Hatisha from Grok will be talking in detail about each of their systems. So uh, we're doing like a 30 minute session that covers what's the, the hardware, uh, more details of that and what's the software stack and such more details, what are the capabilities uh, for each of the systems. And post lunch, so again, we have Sam from Argon who will be covering on running and optimizing LLMs on, on Polaris on NVIDIA system. And the later half of the uh, session, so we have a hands-on session that we have planned. Um, Sid and Warani from Argon will be driving that. Uh, we'll all be available here. And we have also put a, a GitHub page, the link is listed here, where we have all the uh, instructions and the sample codes that you can use and all the details on how do you log on to the machine, how do you uh, run these sample scripts. And once we do the hands-on session, um, maybe you can also try log into the machine and um, uh, you know, submit those jobs and um, get those first-hand experience on using these systems. And again, we also have uh, some open time that we can have as a, a open discussion and maybe any uh, Q&A that we have. Um, and there are a couple of uh, links that I've provided. So we cover like a lot of detailed documentation on how do we use these machines. And we also do a lot of training workshops for uh, and, uh, for each of the systems. So all the the training material that includes the, the slides and the, the video recordings are all uh, available. Um, yeah, so I think without further ado, uh, maybe let's, I'll switch over to uh, into the next Sylvia from Cerebris. Sylvia, if you're available, so maybe I can stop sharing my screen and you can get started. <laughs> 